Greetings, I'm Dave Verbilla, and this is uh, NRM Geography 338 Introduction to Geographic Information Systems, otherwise known as GIS. And you may ask yourself, why should I take this class? Well, one reason is it will help in terms of your career because it's such a diverse uh, application. It's used in all sorts of different fields. So for example, in this class we have students from anthropology, biology, geography, geology, wildlife management, fisheries students, marine science students. So it's used in a lot of different fields. If you go to the web, uh, just do a web search for GIS jobs and you'll find that there's dozens of websites that are looking for people that have GIS skills. And I've had students in the past graduate and they've gotten jobs working for private consulting firms in Alaska, the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Bureau of Land Management, the Forest Service, um, and then outside of Alaska I have students in all sorts of uh, locations, even Disney World doing GIS stuff. So, and if, even if you don't want to be a GIS professional, most fields, if you have GIS skills, it's really a plus in your resume. So if you're a geologist or wildlife biologist, just look at some job announcements and invariably you'll see GIS is a plus. The way this class is structured is we're trying to help you learn hands-on GIS. So every Tuesday there's a computer lab and it doesn't matter to me whether you work in teams or as an individual. It's your own personal style on how you uh, solve these spatial problems. Some students work better in teams, some students like to work individually. And since I'm here to help you, I don't grade the labs, I'm here to help you if you're stuck in any of the labs. So basically you'll have hands-on learning every Tuesday in the labs and before the lab uh, I will have a lecture basically outlining important conceptual material that you'll need to know to do the labs. And then the quizzes are weekly quizzes and I encourage you to take them as many times as you can because basically they randomly select questions and then you as a student every time you take the quiz you'll get slightly different questions and I'm hoping that you're learning as you take these quizzes and then basically whatever your highest score is for the week that will be your score for the quiz. And then the final exam will be a hands-on final exam where we give you a spatial problem and you have to solve a spatial problem. So the class is about basically solving spatial problems and they may be personal spatial problems or professional spatial problems. For example, the first week's lab will have a more of a personal spatial problem where the scenario is you're going to canoe the Yukon River from eagle to circle. And then the question is, well, how many kilometers would it be to float the Yukon River from eagle to circle? And then you're going to have a vehicle to pick you up at circle. Well, if you have a vehicle picking up at circle and then you leave the vehicle at circle and have to drive all the way to Eagle, how many miles would that be to drive? And that's just an example of one of many spatial problems. And a spatial problem might be at a scale of a microscope slide or it might be at a scale of the entire world. It sort of depends on your field. So welcome and uh, we'll get started fairly soon.